What's up lads and ladettes, how we doing? Welcome back to 2021 Hunting. Episode 50... what is this? This is episode 50... 55! Holy crap, we're getting on. We are getting on in the episodes, ladies and gents. Today we're going to be doing a 40 PED hunt down at Fort Sisyphus. We're going to be hunting... we're going to be hunting the... what are they? The Destroyers? And look at this. Our uh, R-Matrix BC-25 is at a perfect 15 PED, so we're going to have an absolute perfect go of, uh, you know, figuring all this sort of stuff. Defenders, prototype defenders. Now, when we hunt the defenders, we are after the weapons. We really, really want those weapons, and of course, we have someone else that's around hunting. Ooh. So, that might bode, bode well in our favour if... And only if their efficiency is lower. And this is just a specific thought. Now, that was really good. This is just a specific thought in my own sort of mind. Now, we want to leave a good bunch to him. We don't want to... We don't want to sort of ruin his flow. Because that's just rude, yeah? We don't want to ruin his flow because that's just rude. So, we're going to leave uh, stuff to... You know, for him to kill and all that good shit. And we're kind of going to go on the outskirts and then up to that sort of plateau area there, right? So when someone's hunting, like if you're in an area where other people are hunting, and you'll find this is why people that have been playing the game for a long time will go back to places like Camp Icarus. It is genuinely just because you'll have other players that are coming in. They might not have as much knowledge about efficiency as, say, a... You know, another player. Or, just by luck, someone will come in with slightly better equipment to deal enough damage to get the better... Uh, the better efficiency ratio and all that sort of stuff. And if you come in while other people are sort of hunting the same sort of mob, you have a higher chance of globaling and getting a profit. Well, not even globaling, but just getting a profit. You have a... Statistically... From what I have seen, and what I have experienced, and what I've heard from other people. If you come in, after a bunch of people have been hunting an area, possibly people that are not as well, not as efficient as you, you are, you will have a higher chance of gaining a profit. Now, I don't know if this is 100% factual. All I know is it tends to happen more often. There we go, we got 5 PED from that bad boy and a full TT Azuro. Nice. Let's see if we can get something decent out of... Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can hit a global from these guys. So far, they're doing very well. Very well. I'm happy we came out here. We got some weapons. We're nice and happy. We kick him back. We're enjoying life. Let's see if we can get... Just anything decent. Anything really cool. And if we do get a global, just remember what I said yesterday. I called it. <laughs> Especially if it's like 50 PED. If we get a 50 PED global today, just remember that I called it yesterday. I don't want to kill these two, because we don't want to leave any stone unturned. Like, at all. We don't want to leave any stone unturned. Because that would just, you know, it'd be bad. It's like looking for spiders. You don't want to leave any stone unturned. You know, if you're out there, you're looking for bugs, you're looking for spiders, insects, and all that. Like arachnids, insects, uh, whatever the fuck a centipede is. They're, they're just uh, a weird creature. You know, if you, if you want to you wanna hunt those, you got to turn over every stone, man. you got to turn over every fucking stone. Otherwise, you just won't find them. So you gotta turn over every stone. And this is why, like, I really like the BLPs, because there's a really good fire rate to these, right? And the fire rate just increases the amount of, um, cycle ability when it comes to the mobs, right? So if you can cycle through a lot of mobs in a good amount of time, whew, that's good. That's some good stuff. 
So I'm looking forward to seeing what we'll come out with from this 40 PED worth of ammo. Because if we can come out with... Even if we can come out, like, on the nose, 40 PED, I'll be happy. But if we can come out with a little bit extra, like, edge out just a little bit, I'll be a very, very, very happy man. I will be. I'll be a very... I'll be fucking chuffed. I'll be fucking... I'll be right happy mate. I'll be right fucking happy mate if I can get just a little bit of that uh, happiness. And if we can get the if we can get the swirlies, oh Lord, Lord, like Lord willing, the trumpets and the cheering that would be. Though I doubt that will happen. That I already had that twice this year. I'm not, it's not going to happen again. Trust me, it's probably not going to happen for the next five years. I'm not going to get any sort of hoff. Especially not that level. For quite a fucking while. Yeah, that, but that's just my opinion. My opinion. And yeah, we got a couple of guys. We got that guy running through. Is he... Oh, my sweet summer child. My sweet summer child. Poor guy. I just gotta make sure I don't... Well, they're now attacking me, so that's a pain in the ass. See, I don't want to kill anything that's kind of been going at him because... Well, I mean, he wasn't wearing armor. He wasn't wearing armor, so maybe this will give him a little bit of a... Because it was the fact that he draw the attention of, like, these prototype uh, defenders that really fucked him in the ass in the end. But, it's all good. So we got about 13 PED left. We'll see exactly how things go after that. And, like I said, if we've made back, sick. If not then you know that's a bit sad but we have we have had some good drops we have had a, a good bunch of drops so maybe we'll get lucky maybe we won't but maybe we will we'll see what's what huh we'll see what's what because we can cut a Nice swath up this way now that these guys have respawned. And the thing is, like, every time they respawn, they're going to have another random... Just a random generation of... This is the percentage of loot that this motherfucker will have, right? Whatever this guy, you know, attacks with... This is the percentage of loot that he's going to get back. And depending on... Like, there'll be another variable. Depending on his efficiency, we will then say... Yes, pick from the selection of um, items that can drop, or no, just give him shrapnel. See, that's how I think it works. It might not work that way, but that's just how I think it works, right? It is just how I think it works. Because we've already established, like, it has already been established that you will get a percentage back of what you spend on a kill. So if you spend, like... If for some reason you go and you spend like 50 PC killing a quarter turg puny, you know, you'll get a percentage of that back. There is, I will be doing a test of that one day. I'll be getting just a stupid big gun that uses a shitload of PC. And then I will use it on one quarter turg puny at a time. And I'll see what I get back. <laughs> Just for shits and giggles. Not for any other reason, but just for shits and giggles. Of course, this will be money that I know I'll be losing. So I'll have to be, like, 100% sure that's what I want to do with it. Um, because I'll just be getting shrapnel back. And all that stuff, so. Oh, so i got to be 100% sure that's what I want to do. Come on, love. Alright, so the weapons have kind of dropped off. So... Uh, with the f with the couple of good loots that we did get, we might just break even. We might be a little bit below. Let's have a quick look. I reckon we're going to be breaking even today. Well, actually, no. We're going to take a loss because we won't break even with all of this. 
we're not going to break even. So, yeah, we're going to be taking a little bit of a loss. Which is... Uh, it fills me, fills me with a little, little bit of the sads. Okay, we're just going to use a Falcata to finish off this guy. And there we go. So, I'm going to head back and... Best way to avoid the aggro from these fucker... Oh, no, wait. We're just going to run back. I will unpause once I get back. So I had to teleport to uh, Borez because uh, if I didn't, those robots would have been on my booty hole the entire time. I don't really want to waste anything on them, so let's let's have a quick squizzy screw at what we've got, yeah? So first we'll throw the weapons in. Comes out to uh, that, then we'll throw this in. So if we add in the... Yeah, not that. But if we add in the decay of this... So, minus, we'll say minus 4.5, so we come out with 31, so we're about 9 PED down again, ladies and gents, we're 9 PED down. Gonna have to do some fruit walking and some sweating to make up for that. Anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it there for today, if you enjoyed, make sure you click the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new. All of my various things are in the description below, link to my Patreon, my Twitter, and my second channel, the Iron Helm. Check them out if you can. If not, that's all good. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. You take care, and I'll see you in the next one.